the 19 tornadoes that the National Weather Service has struck Iowa last Friday while it hit near the community of Harlan. And while the large wedge tornado was ripping through southeastern Shelby County, a mobile Doppler radar project was sampling winds inside of it. First Alert meteorologist Kat Taylor has more from a group of scientists who were right in the middle of that storm doing research. Doppler on Wheels is part of a weather research project based at the University of Illinois. This year's project is called BEST, Boundary Layer Evolution and Structure in Tornadoes. And our goal is to try to understand the structure of tornadoes as they evolve and how those vary depending on the temperatures and relative humidities of the air that's right around the tornadoes. The team was in Iowa for Friday's tornadic activity and was set up in Shelby County near Harlan. In order to get the data they need, the mobile Doppler radar needs to get as close to the storm as possible to sample the lower level wind speeds. They were able to get pretty close and they were scanning every seven seconds through the tornado um, as it was passing near Harlem, Iowa. So with that information, we're able to see what the tornado structure looked like. Um, and we're also able to see what the winds were like at the level that we were scanning with our radar. Dr. Karen Kasiba and Dr. Josh Werman use mobile radars called Doppler on Wheels or DOWs to better understand tornadoes and the winds inside of them closer to the ground. We're able to uh, infer what the strongest ground relative wind speeds are. Um, so in this case, um, using our measured Doppler wind speeds and then also the direction the tornado is moving, um, we infer that the wind speeds were about 224 miles per hour um, at the level that we are measuring. The goal is to better understand the intensity and the lifespan of a violent tornado to give the public more time to seek shelter. If we could give warnings for tornadoes the same way we give warnings for hurricanes or blizzards or any other kind of dangerous phenomenon, people could really take much more nuanced, much more targeted kind of action. The team is also gathering other data from these storm systems using deployable instrument pods and miniature weather balloons. Another goal that the BEST project has is figuring out what helps the tornado intensify. And we think a lot of the things like the temperature, the moisture surrounding the tornado um, from different parts of the storm influence the intensification and the longevity. The team will continue to travel the plains this summer, measuring as many tornadoes as possible. In Sioux City, meteorologist Kat Taylor, KTIV News 4.